Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about how to map a reactive form group to a class object. So the class object is very useful because you can define a lot of methods on the class to implement business logic. A reactive form group collects a bunch of data from a user. This is one example. We have first name, last name, and three dollar values. Apple, orange, and red. The business logic are very simple. You can concatenate first name, last name to produce full name. You sum up the apple, orange, and bread to produce total purchase. This can all done by just using reactive form. Uh, I can give you one simple example here. You can look at the source code. You can just use getters to get the full name. Return this intake form controls first name dot value plus um, empty space plus this intake form controls last name dot value. So you can just use this full name in your template here to get the concatenated full name. So getter is one method to implement some business logic, but it's going to be a pain in the butt because the getter syntax is very complex, right? This intake form controls blah blah blah. So you have to type a lot of code, and it's not very convenient. Like these three fields, the dollar values, you have to convert them to a number before you can do the math. So directly using a form group, the form controls, it's doable, but it's just a lot of coding. It's a uh, it's very cumbersome. So much better alternative is to use a model. You can see this model called a purchase. It has exactly the same. Five properties as the form controls, a form group, first name, last name, apple, orange, bread, and I define the method here. It's syntax much simpler. Return this first name plus space plus last name. Return apple plus orange plus bread. You do not have to deal with the, all the syntax of the form group, form controls. So it's much cleaner. But how do you map the form group to this class? Again, use a getter. You can see here. Get a purchase. I create an empty object, and assign the intake forms all the value to the object. Then I converted all the dollar symbols strings to a number, so currency string to number tree. Yeah, feel free to check out my Git repo to see、uh, the source code. So this function takes a tree structure. Any time encounter a dollar value beginning with a dollar symbol, it will convert that to a number. Yeah. Now we can just create a new object. Invoke the constructor of the class. First name, last name, apple, orange, bread. Now we have a new object called purchase, and then we can use this purchase guy in your template very, very easily. Here, full name, purchase dot full name, total purchase, purchase dot total purchase, and then there's a currency pipe. So by mapping your form group to a class, your code is greatly simplified. Okay, that's the video for today. Thank you.